Yeah, that's a good fish, man. Yeah, ain't that big. Let him, Look at it. Let him flop around a bit. Yes, sir. That's, good that's a nice fish. one. Sucker about broke my thumb, I think. <laughs> Woo. Flopping up in there? Throw him on the, in the middle of the boat back there. He's got a red belly. All right. Welcome back to the Florida Semi Group here in Chicago. I'm Killer. Thursday, October 13th, folks. Let's get into the zone, the CMZ zone. So we're really dealing with Europe right now. Front and center, there's such an emotional trade that continues to persist in this market. We've seen this range in the S&P. We're up to that 1208, and if you follow me on Twitter, which you should, at the Killer, I talked about getting short up here at 1208. Went through that, took out that uh, recent high of 1214, made a new high 1216, came off. We've seen some earnings come out today. JP Morgan disappointing, but more importantly, I think what I like to focus on is portfolio managers across the globe right now are looking at is this EU situation. These banks, they need to recapitalize. Should they uh, raise capital? They don't want to. The you know, 60% devalued, so they don't want to raise capital at that lower valuation. Therefore, they're talking about liquidating some of these assets. Now, these assets, this is where portfolio managers are drilling down and getting a better understanding because there's a gap in the data, folks. You can't really get a, a, a true understanding of what these assets are, specifically these complex derivatives that don't trade that often. How do you actually precisely value the liquidation point of that? So we're having a hard time with that. I think there's going to be some further write downs over in Europe, but honestly it feels like, you know, to use a technical term in catfish fishing, it feels like they're noodling. A noodling is where you take your hand and you put it into that hole in that river bed and you either pull out a big old catfish or you come out short a couple digits because a snapping turtle bit off your finger. Unfortunately, folks, we have 17 holes to put our arm in through. So there's some serious noodling going on here. I hope we get through and I hope we have all fingers. Count them, folks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hope we have them all. Have a great day. Hope you're staying nimble. Hope you're staying quick. We're seeing some negative sentiment here. I don't think it's uh, anything more than just uh, a little bit of an air release here since we have had such a uh, rally, such a tremendous rally since last Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, last Tuesday, that s P was trading 1068. Sensational ride up here. Hope you're on board. Be the hammer, not the nail. That and if you stick your stick in that hole on the bank, and it goes up, don't mess with it. Cause it's either a beaver, snake, or turtle. Cause they have to have air pockets to breathe. Um, if the hole goes back and down, 90% of the time it's gonna be a fish.